Hello, I'm Bob Jeffrey here in New York. Welcome to today's edition of Worldmakers. From film to fashion, tech startups to advertising, this is a city where things get made. And as the song goes, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Today on Worldmakers, we'll meet some of the visionaries making the future happen right now. Today, I'm sitting down with Martine Reardon, Chief Marketing Officer of Macy's. Martine, welcome here to Worldmakers. Great to have you here. Thank you. Nice to be here. So Martine, one of the reasons why I wanted to speak with you is we deal with a lot of different clients and there's a lot of different businesses out there. But number one, there's a, I can't think of a brand more iconic than Macy's, whether it's in the U.S. or outside of the U.S. Can you talk to us about the role of creativity on your agenda from a marketing point of view? Sure, absolutely. I think um, creativity is probably one of the biggest um, motivators for what makes this brand so important and so iconic. It, um, you know, retailing, there's so many people out there in this space, and so it's important for us to really differentiate ourselves. And we do that with um, creative ideas. Um, you know, whether it's what we do in the parade each year, you know, we've been doing the parade for 85 years now, but each year there's always a new creative element to it that makes it really interesting. The same thing with the fireworks, the same July 4th every single year, but there's something new, whether it's new smiley faces that we produce or the score for the show itself. Um, it's really interesting properties like Yes, Virginia. There isn't another retailer out there today who has a piece of original content that actually is on on national television. And what is it about the Macy's culture that drives that type of innovation? So for example, one of the things that you started was Fashion Star. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. Um, brand and entertainment's a big part of what the brand is about. Um, and it is about being an important part of pop culture. Um, fashion is one of the key reasons why Macy's exists, but the brand and entertainment piece is the overlay to it. That combination of fashion and entertainment really makes that show work for us. You know, we did something interesting this year where we were able to really create more of an omni-channel point of view on it. And so the viewer has the opportunity to actually buy the look as it's coming down the runway right then and there by just clicking onto Macy's.com. And so whatever way that we can introduce new omni-channel um, initiatives for the customer, we know that it'll give her more motivation to want to really buy. Also, the other thing you did this year, which was quite innovative, was talk about the week after Christmas, right? I mean, that oh, was something different. That was really fun. Um, this is something that retailers have been doing for longer than I've been alive, which is, you know, really um, mounting a big event for post-Christmas. It's generally when all of the holiday decorations go on sale. Um, and so for years, it's becoming bigger and bigger. We wanted to really do something different. We, we saw a change in the consumer over the last couple of years where really from the day after Christmas all the way through New Year's, people really take vacation. And, um, and with the help of your wonderful creative team, we came up with really calling it the Week of Wonderful and almost making it a national vacation week um, and really gave the consumer all those great sales that you know that she wants. You know, she wants to come in and buy her holiday decorations that she'll put away for the following year, but she also wants something new to buy. And she has just spent the last six weeks shopping for everybody else, and now it's time for her. So we managed to bring in brand new receipts, new colors, really freshened up the floors, made it feel different, did a lot of fashion events to drive her in, and deemed it the Week of Wonderful. And it truly was the Week of Wonderful for us that actually even extended into the Month of Wonderful. So it was a great new handle that we were able to bring into the um, into the portfolio. So after all this nonstop innovation and creativity, I mean, what's next? Is it about Macy's outside the U.S. or what is it or what can you talk about? Well, I actually think of us as being outside the U.S. I think, um, you know, the brand is just so big here in New York and in several flagships across the country and with the influx of visitors that we've got, people go back home and talk about this place, Macy's. And so as, as new visitors come to New York, they all want to see what Macy's is all about. 
about. There's a very famous quote from Mayor Bloomberg that says, if you haven't been to Macy's, then you haven't seen New York. Um, and so Perfect advertising. It, it is. It's great. It's wonderful. And I didn't pay him to say right. that either. Um, so I think that's one piece of it. We also have our website, which um, last year we took international. And so now we're shipping to over 100 different countries um, outside of the U.S. So that really has extended our brand even further. Um, so you never know what might happen. Well, that's great, Martine. And thank you for spending the time with us on World Makers. Oh, thanks for inviting me. And thank you for tuning in to the latest episode of World Makers.